All right, so the question is, do I generate storm damage leads as well as retail leads for roofing contractors? And the answer is yes, but oftentimes, almost 99% of the time, the best way to generate a lead that results in a job that is an insurance claim is to generate it with a retail angle. And the reason is because people have basically no knowledge about how the insurance claims process works. And anything they do think they know is usually wrong. So when you make an ad that mentions filing a claim with their insurance company, it usually does more to scare them away than it than it does to actually get them as a lead. You're better off talking about um, their roof from a retail standpoint, even if you do in fact recommend to them that filing a claim is in their best interest and then educating them accordingly. So I do, when I set up the campaigns for your business, um, set up ad variations that hint at the storm damage process, but I don't talk about it explicitly and I definitely don't mention insurance or filing a claim because that does so much to scare away potential um, homeowners who would otherwise hire you. Um, so my system is great for you if you wanna generate, uh, or, or if you wanna close with an insurance recommendation with them, but also if you wanna do retail. And it's really just a matter of you advising them what their best step, uh, next steps are. If you arrive at their house and you say to them, listen, I'm gonna get up on your roof. If there's enough damage to file a claim, I'm gonna recommend you do that and here's why and here are all the misconceptions that people normally have. Let me know if you have any others so I can talk to you about them. So you can educate them once you're there with them talking. But if we try to do too much in the ad and we mention wrong words that scare them away, that's exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna scare them away. So um, that's how I think about things and I've done this for you know hundreds of roofers. So. Um, the data is definitive. I mean, talking too much about insurance is actually not a good thing to do. And so I don't, I don't do it. And uh, that's the answer. All right.